What's up guys, it's Midwest Raider coming back to you with another video for my channel. Hey, I had a subscriber ask me a question and like I said, sometimes it's just easier to keep it simple and ask uh, questions and just make a quick video over it than trying to, you know, put a bunch of information into a text. Sometimes it's better to see, you know, uh, how to hook this up. I had a question ask about the Rain 62. Uh, I've, I'm familiar with those, uh, but I don't have one personally. I have native instrument stuff, so I have uh, tractor stuff. Uh, so I have a Z2, but it's a very similar uh, connection or, or outputs on the back of this. So it should be pretty pretty good to make an example of. And they want to know how to hook it up to the Carpo Series uh, 12 DSPW, that Carpo Series that has the arrays and everything with it. So I thought this would be a good, quick, easy video hopefully under five minutes, uh, and just show you a couple ways you can hook this up, and it works just fine. I'm not going to uh, show you that it works, but I know that it'll work if you hook it up this way. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to show you real quick how it works and how to hook it up, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to stop real quick and switch angles here, and we'll get you in to show you how this works. All right, guys, what's up? It's Midwest Raider coming at you with another video. Hey, guys, I wanted to show you a quick video on how to hook up uh, – the question was for an uh, Rain 62 mixer, but I have a Z2 mixer, which is pretty similar to the Rain uh, 62. It's going to have the same outputs and everything, except for the Native Instruments uh, mixer here has RCAs, you can see, right here, which would be very nice for this setup. Uh, but if you have a Rain 62, you're probably not going to have those. You're just going to have the two XLR outputs here and two quarter jacks here. For booth as well which would work you can definitely hook up either way they are outputs and they will send a signal so you can do some different ways of hooking this up so the other part that I'm talking about here is the Soundtown Carpo 112 DS uh, DSPW which uh, has uh, of various amounts of ways to hook it up to you have RCA's you have quarter jacks and you have a 3.5 millimeter jack and you also have this RCA out to go to any other speakers. Uh, this, you know, has, you know, five channels and it also has a way to hook up, uh, speak on to your uh, array speakers or your linear speakers or whatever passive speakers you'd like to hook up to. So you definitely have options uh, with this to be able to use it uh, to run it to other speakers. And this is a subwoofer and you can run it to another subwoofer with the RCAs if you'd like to. So let me show you guys how to hook this up because I had a quick question on how the various ways I, you could hook up. Now my favorite well, way to do this is with this. Uh, you're going to have your XLR uh, your XLR to RCAs. Um, they make cables like this. So you, like I said, this is just a matter of finding the right cable for your situation. But... Uh, this is how you're going to do it this way, and then you'll just run this straight to here. And you're going to hook up, uh, let's see, red to red, of course, and white to white. And that'll be one way how to do this, guys. The other way, uh, and then, of course, you know, uh, you'll hook up your source to this, you know, whatever you're using, if you're using and AUGs or you know record players or your laptop whatever you're using you just hook up straight to line and you know you're good to go so this is just basically a tutorial how you can different ways you can run uh, the XLR to the uh, uh, speaker here so you can have you know stuff going to your speakers all right the next way you can hook this up <clears throat> is straight XLR a left and a right and I'll show you with this they make these these are the easiest ways to do this uh, to quarter jack so you'll have your XLR to quarter jack you got an XLR and you got a quarter jack and then you just go to your quarter jack down here make sure you get left to left and right to right and sorry I don't have matching cables right now but just doing a quick test for you and right there um, that was one way another way to do it and that's the pretty much the easiest way to do it 
because uh, you do have left and right, uh, so that way you don't have to get complicated with splitters and stuff. Um, but that's the easiest way to do it right there is quarter uh, XLR female to quarter jack um, should work. Um, uh, even these should work. Um, they also make mono ones that just have the one line on them, so that's a possibility too. And on the mono ones, I'm just talking about the tips here where they only have one line like that. And these are stereo, they have two, but they sh should work no matter there. So the other way I would not recommend, uh, but if you had to, you could use this. This is a splitter cable, but it is the uh, XLR to XLR but it has this cable right here, uh, 3.5 millimeter jack or eighth inch jack. Uh, then you could just go this to the 3.5 millimeter jack, but you see my cord is a little short. So they do make these extenders. Uh, so you just plug this into there and then you take your extender cable and you would go to your, your 3.5 millimeter jack right here now this is an option to do but but like i said i wouldn't totally recommend it guys because uh, you're hooking up a lot of cables you're losing a little signal um, so i think the first two ways are the best ways to, to do this or if you had this particular model and i know we're getting off the topic of the rain 62 but if you had uh, like the z2 uh, i would personally just go rca <laughs> to rca very simple, very easy there, and boom, you're you got a hook, you got a connection there too as well. Uh, but in, in the case of the Rain 62, you're gonna have you're gonna have the booth out and the uh, XLRs here, so you're gonna have quarter jack too. So you could go quarter jack into the booth outs, and then uh, quarter jack. To the uh, left and right here too so you can do that as well and that would just be quarter jack to quarter jack so there's a few ways to do this guys not a big deal not too hard guys um, so I hope this helps you know, at least you can physically see a couple ways to do this um, and you guys can get her done so all right hope this guys help I hope this helped you guys and uh, thanks for checking me out DJ Martini Midwest, Midwest Raider, DJ Martini Services on Facebook. Please like and subscribe. Always trying to help. Um, if you guys have any more feedback, questions, let me know. DJ Martini Midwest, Midwest Raider right here on YouTube. We'll talk to you guys later.